world have been writing to the judge hoping to sway the decision. Wake News reporter Maddie Heron read through the letters and Maddie, this is a convicted killer we're talking about. What did these letters say? There appeared to be a mix of motives with these letters, some looking to protect human life, some of obsession. Yet during these past few weeks, almost all were against the death penalty. Even so, international pleas to save Wade Wilson's life did not sway Judge Nick Thompson from sending Wilson to death row. Moments after the decision, State Attorney Amira Fox condemned the convicted killer and those that want to be associated with him. Fundraising for him or holding him up to be some sort of positive representation of a man, ignoring that he is nothing more than a vicious killer. He's a coward when it comes to men. Yeah, That's the truth. His anger's always been towards women. An anger that manifested into murder of not one, but two women, Christine Melton and Diane Ruiz. Still, in recent weeks, many of Wilson's pen pal supporters tend to be women, writing the judge letters against the death penalty. A woman from California wrote, I hope you take into consideration that this man has a family and two children and as a human being. Ending the letter with a plea, please choose life for Wade Wilson. Others, like this mother from France, sympathized with Wilson as if he was her own child. She wrote, for the love of God, save him from the death penalty and provide Wade with the necessary care, because in any case, he will never get out of prison, but I will be able to do work on him. Anyone deserves redemption. The viral nature of Wilson's murder trial, Wilson's dad said, has drawn an unexpected amount of donations and sympathy for his son. If you go down the donation list, it's all women. Yeah. So think about that. I mean, he's pulling y'all strings from a jail cell. Pulling strings from a jail cell, a cell that's now death's waiting room for Wade Wilson. The state attorney's office emphasized that no matter the outcome of this decision, the real focus is on the families of Christine Melton and Diane Ruiz, who will never get their loved ones back. Live in the studio, back to you. All right, thank you very much.